MLA fixed volume pipettes are general purpose pipettes for sampling and dispensing liquids when accuracy, precision, and convenience are required. The pipettes are color coded according to volume size and they use standard MLA tips. Ergonomic principles are to be followed throughout the process, including supplies being at comfortable working distance and level. You should not be reaching. Your arms, shoulders, and elbows should be relaxed and not elevated to decrease arm fatigue. Your elbows should be kept close to your sides and resting on the counter when possible. Keep wrist straight or in a neutral position with a relaxed grip. Good posture is maintained with both feet on the floor. We will begin by pressing the pipette nozzle firmly into an unused pipette tip. If the tip appears damaged or irregular, discard and replace the pipette tip. Continue by pre-wetting the pipette tip. This is an important step. A dry pipette tip can deliver a lower volume than a pre-wetted tip resulting in an accuracy difference of up to 2 to 7 percent. Pre-wetting the pipette tip increases the humidity within the tip, which decreases evaporation within the tip, resulting in the correct delivery amount. Hold the pipette vertically and fully depress the pipette plunger button down to the first stop. Unlike other pipettes, MLA pipettes are a one-stop only pipette. Hold the pipette vertically and immerse the tip approximately two to three millimeters deep into the sample solution. Gently and slowly return the plunger button to up position. Pause for one second to allow the solution to enter the pipette tip. Do not let it snap back. Withdraw the tip from the solution and touch the tip against the side of the vessel to remove any solution that may have adhered to the outside of the tip. Place the tip against the side of the receiving vessel as close to the bottom as possible, or if the vessel contains liquid, as close to the liquid as possible, but without touching the liquid already in the receiving vessel. Fully depress the plunger to the first stop and pause for one second. With the plunger still fully depressed, Slowly withdraw the tip while sliding along the wall of the receiving vessel. Release the plunger to up position. Eject the tip into a biohazard container by lifting the tip ejector bonnet. Operational limitations and precautions. When pipetting serum or other biological fluids, a liquid film may be retained in the tip that can change the pipetted volume. Pre-wetting the tip with the liquid to be pipetted can reduce this effect. Please refer to the written procedures for more details. Firmly and smoothly depress and release the plunger and maintain the same speed of action for all samples. Steady movements are key to precision. Remember to always keep the pipette in a vertical position when in use. Always depress the plunger to the proper stop before putting the tip into the liquid to avoid air and incorrect volume intake. If an air bubble forms in the tip during intake, return the sample, discard the tip, and apply a fresh tip. Differences in temperature of the pipette and solution can result in inaccurate dispensing.